present our findings on the problems of bibliographic control of serial materials in Africa. Now, uh, over the years, there have been an ever-growing serial materials, ever-growing publications, which are issued based on the subscription of organizations involved. And these materials appear on a daily basis, weekly, quarterly, and in fact, some even appear monthly and yearly. So, now, these serial materials, being one of the information materials that holds information for the longest period of time, what this refers to is that they are subject to further research, examples of journals. They are faced with many problems in third world countries or African countries, as the case may be. Now, one of the most pressing problems of serial materials in Africa today is the problem of bibliographic control, which we'll be looking at in just about a while. And bibliographic control has a... Uh, let's go to definition of terms. Bibliographic control refers to the organization of materials uh, to facilitate discovery, management, and access, identification as well as access. Now, management is the sense that manipulation of all the information resources in such a way as to facilitate the identification and access, giving an insight in such a way as to uh, know the actual position and how to locate information materials. Now, this was given by Kenan in 2002. And on, an info, on, a, on a national level, bibliographic control provides a system which makes the identification of all information materials in a, within the borders of a country possible. And this was also given by j and Retta in 2000. Now, serial materials, on the other hand, they are publications issued in any medium, in any form, bearing numerical and chronological designation, and uh, intended to be continued indefinitely. The key point in this is that they, bear, uh, they are intended to be continued indefinitely, and they are also issued in successive parts, as the case may be Volume 1, Volume 2, and others. Now, the problems of bibliographic control as Elias said, includes some of the following. Slow pace in embracing ICT, the low uh, lack of suitable automation software, publishers and printers non-compliance, uh, lack of standardization, uh, incomplete bibliographic information, swelling tide of and a host of other problems. Now, considering time factor, we'll be looking at a few out of these problems. Let's start with the problem of the, uh, what do we call it? Slow pace in embracing ICT. Now, slow pace in embracing ICT, ICT, Information and Communication Technology, as of today, is yet to gain its full ground in most African countries uh, as a result of the technological advancement of these African countries. And in fact, the ITU, International Telecommunications Union of 2007, rates ICT, rates uh, African countries in terms of ICT, they rate it as the happiest to the, the continent having the happiest uh, concentration of countries with low ICT opportunities. And this is only to the fact that there are still some services that have been restricted in African countries today. Such, uh, such ICT services that have been restricted includes the voice, voice over internet provider, which underlines all internet connectivity and uh, allows countries um, in member states to communicate using one voice. Now, the restriction of ICT services in African countries spells a doom and a very great setback to uh, bibliographic control activities. Now, secondly, is the publishers and printers non compliance with the legal deposit law, as the case may be. Now, the legal deposit law provides a system that we, in which uh, some, some amount of publications are going to be deposited to the National Library in such a way as to facilitate the gathering of uh, publications and their uh, bibliographic information to so facilitate what we call it bibliographic control. Now, the non compliance of publishers and printers is also a very great threat to. Bibliographic control activities in African countries as of 